Hello everyone! Welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 2 Dash Castle. Let's see if the princess is in here or is in another castle. Har, har, har. Nah, she won't be in here. Oh, this castle. Um, to get the star coins of this one, for, see that coin that you've seen right off the, the start there? This is one of those classic ca- Oh, come on! <laughs> this is one of those classic castle designs that you have to choose the right path in order to progress. What you want to do to avoid taking the right path is take this middle path here because you want to get that star coin on your first run. This is the wrong path. I believe the correct path is top, bottom, middle, and there's the first star coin. Now you see it right back at the beginning here. If I would have taken the right path, it would have went to a different area instead of looping back to here. Uh, you'll notice that sound effect that occurred when I took the wrong path. It went doo -doo, or something. Oh boy! Podobu attack! Why do you live in lava? Why do you like the heat so much? Well, it might be because you're made of fire and if you cool off you may die or something like that. So that may be a good explanation for that. Okay, listen. That was the correct sound. Okay, now what you want to do is try and take the lower path. Ooh, start point number two. Two, 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 two. Break your way through. Gotta be Big Mario for that. Or Super Mario, whatever you want to call him. And I'm pretty sure the lower path is the correct one. I'm taking a little gamble here because I don't remember the correct paths, honestly. Let's just try the lower one. Hope for the best. And no turning back now. Listen. Oh, it was correct. Okay then that likely means the middle one is the correct one. Next P-switch here. Ooh, I'm gonna need that for that star coin. There we go. And if I don't get off these blocks, I'm gonna die. Because <laughs> they're gonna turn... Wait, 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 I need, to, I need to go through there. Don't die, yeah. Because these blocks were, uh... They would have been solid and blocked my way through here. Very clever move, Nintendo. But not clever enough. So, waiting. That's the sound I want to hear. And now, this should take me to the boss. What's in these? Power-ups. I already got a fire flower, so that's completely useless. Completely useless to me, excuse me. Except for increasing my score, I guess. Who cares about score, too? <laughs> and... Listen. Spooky. Jesus Christ, it's the World 2 Castle and I've got 64 lives! Hey there, Magic Koopa. Don't you dare- Ah, oh, I was gonna say, don't you dare spread your magic powder all over the place. What is this blasphemy? Uh, eventually he's gonna drop down from one of those pipes, on, or try and drop down on top of you like that. Oh, shoot, I should've jumped. Ouch. And, uh, he'll stun you when he falls out of the pipe. That's his gimmick, and you're supposed to jump off to the side to avoid him. And then jump on him as usual. It's a nice twist on the Roy fight here. No, 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 don't you? Yeah, baby! Yeah, you can get him before he goes into the pipes to prevent him from being all tricky on you. Come on, come on. There we go. You're done! <laughs> then you won't have to worry about him going into the pipes once again. Woo! Ballerina Mario! <laughs> and that's the end of World 2. I'm pretty sure I 100%ed it too. Uh, if I didn't, someone will, someone will tell me, and I'll have to go back here later anyway. So, I'll, I guess I'll see once I see the Star Coin collection thing. Hey, what are you mocking me for? I guess Peach was here after all. But I guess she wasn't in the castle. She's going to another castle. Oh, they just keep swiping her away. Why doesn't Mario just go for the airship instead of the castle? Is it flying too high for him to jump on top of? Why doesn't he just use the... Propeller mushroom or something. Yay! Okay. <laughs> and next level. Here we go. It's icy. This actually surprised me the first time I played through the game was finding an ice world this early in the game. Usually ice comes quite late in the game because it's tricky physics and stuff like that. Needless to say, ice is slippery. And uh, also be demonstrating the penguin suit as well very shortly. Um... Long story short, the penguin suit lets you slide on ice, which can also bowl over enemies. It's similar to the Koopa Shell power-up in the original New 
Ooh. Super Mario Brothers. Ah, oh, Penguin Attack! <laughs> they, you basically slide just like that. Watch, you go down a slope and... Oh wait, I forgot, you're supposed to press down on a slope. You can also skim across two, um, two square wide holes like that as you're sliding. So this is really fun to mess around with. Um, and you also get more traction on ice. Like, normally this would be slippery. Or maybe these blocks would be slippery, I'm not sure. I can't tell right now because I'm wearing the penguin suit, but regardless regardless if it's slippery or not, with the penguin suit on, you're going to have traction like it isn't slippery. So stop doing that! Stop spawning! Anyway, let's... No, 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 no. I wasn't going fast enough. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, 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 oh they just bump you if you uh, go into them head first, don't they? And they're coming. Maybe I'll just jump through this normally until I get to a safer spot. And you can also throw um, snowballs or ice balls just like Ice Mario can. You need the penguin suit to get that coin, obviously. Just slide right through it. Um, and no, 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 don't you dare bump me in the hole, penguin. Don't you dare think about it. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Because you came back for more. Wait, wait. What's over there? Ah! <laughs> I think I need it. Oh, poopers! Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I, I think I need the penguin suit for another coin in this level. So, I, I didn't get very far in it anyway. So, I guess a restart wouldn't hurt that much. I should say hurt the time all that much. This isn't gonna hurt you, it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get myself another penguin suit by preventing myself from getting a hit along the way. I should be able to do that. Don't let the penguins fall on your head, dang it. <laughs> and there's, an, there's your penguin suit right off the bat. Two power-ups right away. And, oh, that's right, I have to recollect this. Because I bungled and fell down into the hole. Oh, I guess you can bounce off piranha plants when you're sliding. I did not know that! You learn something new every day, I guess. Now, what is inside that block? I really want to know. <laughs> yeah! And then, oh my god, I almost slid it right off the, the cliff there by uh, pressing down accidentally. Oh, come on! That was ridiculous. I really want that checkpoint. Wait, wait, isn't there a coin? Yes, there is. Should I get... Yeah, I'll get the checkpoint before I get the coin. I was gonna say, should I get the checkpoint after I get the coin? But nah, it's right near here, and I'll have to jump down there anyway. Either way, so... Okay, let's carefully... I gotta do a wall kick here. Slide, and click! Yeah! That's more precise than it looks, actually, because of the way that the ceiling is there. It's a little bit tricky to get used to, but... Try to wall kick at the latest possible moment you can, and you shouldn't fall into the abyss. Come on, penguin suit, walk over towards me. Waddle, yeah! And slide our way through here. This is really fun. It's a it's a penguin course, basically. It's a penguin slope course. This is basically automatic, though you do have to jump at certain points. Oh, shoot! I didn't need to do that. I wanted to uh, crash through the bricks all, all at once, but that works anyway. And the last coin is indeed down here. This is why I said I needed the penguin suit anyway for the third star coin. So down here... Oh, wait, maybe I don't need it. Um, okay, I forgot how to get this. Oh, man. Am I supposed to bounce off a of penguin? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to slow it down, like, right over here, and then try and jump on it to get the coin. I think that'll work. Propeller suit would definitely be... Ooh, definitely be less risky. Dang it, how do you do this? Try, let's try and follow a penguin down into the hole. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Uh, dang it, I found out I just have to complete the level to get myself another penguin suit. So I might as well just continue on here to show what's up. Normally you'd have to, or you could just go across those gaps with the penguin suit. But because I don't have one right now, because I died, I can't. That means I also can't go into that area to get the third coin. Dang it. Well, there's the end. So now let's go over to that other area with the coin and see what I can come up with. And there we go. <laughs> I have a theory on how I can do this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can... No, I can't ground pound that. I was just curious to see if I could do that. 
Um, my, my actual theory is to take hits, like that, until I'm small Mario, and then I can squeeze my way beneath that, uh, the very top of this alcove here, and then I should be... Oh, come on! Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, okay, come on, hit me, hit me. This time I'm not gonna slide off the edge, I hope. <laughs> Careful. Now this is what I think I have to do. No, that doesn't work at all. What the heck am I supposed to do there? Can I, am I really supposed to get a propeller suit oh. to get in there? No, that's impossible because you have to be a penguin to even get down there and... Hmm. Okay, there must be more to this room than I am thinking of. So let's just take a look around here and see what I come up with. Like, let's just jump around, see if there's any P-switch blocks or something like that. That, you know, something that I can use to get across there. Unless I'm seriously supposed to, like, slide on the penguin... I mean, slide with the penguin suit. That, that would just be impossible. I don't quite get this, honestly. Maybe I really... Uh, I was gonna say, maybe I really have to slide with the penguin suit and use my aerial advantage to jump up in the air or something like that. Well, I need another penguin suit. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try it like the penguins do it. I'm gonna slide through here. That is how you're supposed to do it. You actually can jump in the air as you, when you're a penguin. I, I completely forgot about that. Well, there's your coin. Um, now it's time to get over to the exit, which I'll try to do as carefully as I possibly can. Oh, I said as carefully as I possibly can. Okay, now let's do this run properly. Woo! Don't try and get over those three space gaps there. It will not work. That's kind of dangerous to try that. Let me say that. And there we go. Okay, uh, the camera reads 18 minutes, but I've been at this for a while, so I'm pretty sure I do have enough time for one more stage in this part. So I'm going to do that and then leave it off there. So 3-2, here I come. Woo, look at me slide! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay, 3-2! And, oh, and I should also mention I used two lives out of my item resource just so I could get a penguin power-up each time I reached that uh, first slope area after the checkpoint. And I really didn't want to uh, lose my penguin power-up there because this is this is worse than the penguin power-up in this case because I don't have the traction I do as a penguin, uh, but I still can throw ice balls, so... Oh, there's an ice brother, I guess. They're called Ice Brothers, right? I'm, I'm assuming. Ah! Let me out! Uh, whenever you get frozen by an enemy, just shake the Wii Remote and press buttons to get out. Uh, these are really slow bullet builds, I have to say. Um, if you're Tiny Mario and you try and kill enemies or try and bounce on enemies, I forgot to mention this before, um, you can easily chain these... Ch uh, ch I was going to say chomps together. Chain these bullets together and uh, get one-ups out of them by staying in the air for so long because of how floaty your jump is. But, uh, in order to kill the bullet bills, you have to ground pound them. You also have to ground pound any enemy to kill them as Tiny Mario. Uh, it's just one of the bad mechanics of Tiny Mario to make things a little bit trickier, like the floaty jump thing. Well, like I said, the floaty jump thing could be an advantage in some cases, but... Eh some cases, it's a good thing. And yes, I am ignoring that uh, Ice Flower power-up. It's... It, I don't know why, the Ice Flower just gets in my way, I'm not, and I'm not a really big fan of it. There's a pipe down here, obviously, that I'm going in. So let's check it out. Oh, they really want me to bullet jump here? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, didn't, I forgot all about this. Okay, that's wall kick. Okay, I gotta get one, two, Three, and then, well, pick up to the coin. Let's just go through all the bullets with a ground palm. That was pretty fun. Not too hard. Uh, I don't know why I was so worried about uh, bullet jumping there. I guess it's because uh, doing it in, like, Super Mario World or something like that is a lot harder. Even in, uh, uh classic Mario games, not counting Super Mario World. Well, that game is a classic. But, uh, you get what I mean. It's, it's harder in other Mario games to bullet jump, basically. 
Hey! How do I get up there now? How do I get up there? Up like that? Oh, I can use that bolt to get up there. Let's try it. Yeah! Success! And that's the last point of the level. And I'm going to carefully make my way to the end. And hope to not die. Evidently, these trees are decorated with blocks for whatever reason. Oh, classic Mario Brothers reference there with the little staircase before the end post to there. And course clear. Woo! So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys in the next part, where I do most likely a Hammer Brother event. Well, an Ice Brother event. You'll notice that that's another map-like event, just like the Goomba and the Sand Traps of World 1 and 2, respectively. Okay. See you then!